Hey everybody, as Dave Jacoby, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. So yeah, we're back to playing this collection, and as you probably tell by the of this video, we're not gonna play. Nope, it's not Dream Drop Distance. It's not Keep at Cover, but it's Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep: A Fragmentary Passage. Yes, this is it. The game I've been so long to play for so long, but. I think it's time to finally play this game, don't you? I mean, I don't know why I didn't play this game when it first released, you know? Just because it was so new and exciting, but no, I had to wait and be patient and play the other games, just to, you know, make sure this game doesn't confuse me, but... Uh, it's finally here, guys. Oh, man, I... Mm, I just can't wait to play this game. It looks so good. I mean, look at that picture of Aqua. She looks so good. Especially in the Unreal Engine. Mm. Magnificent. But yeah, so... <laughs> oh man, I just can't wait. I mean, I've been waiting to play this game for so long and... It's now finally within my grasp and I'm just... Mm, I just can't wait. Oh, also, by the way, this also will be a blind let's play as well, just to... As you already tell by the title of this video, so... Yeah. Oh man, I just can't wait. This could be so good. Oh man, I need to think that this was even going to be part of Kingdom Hearts 3, but then Square is like, nope, let's just make it to a separate thing, and... <laughs> I mean... I mean, I like that, you know, we get to play as Aqua, I mean, that's awesome, because I love Aqua as a character. She's just one of my all-time favorite characters. Oh man, but we get to continue with her story, where we less left off with her, and... Well, hopefully, we'll see what happens to her in the end. If it's good or bad, well... Just have to see and wait. But you know what? No staying around. Let's just go. Ah yes, Disney Interactive Studios. Square Enix. Awesome. Ah, the Unreal Engine. I gotta say though, like the key back cover, like I saw that in the Unreal Engine and looks pretty cool. So I think like this game's gonna look pretty awesome too. Oh, probably gonna skip this just because it's the opening and I don't want to get any copyrights on my video, but oh my god, look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Ah, they're playing this theme from Birth by Sleep. Ah, oh, man. Look at this. The graphics. Aqua looks amazing, too. Oh, man. This is gonna be so exciting. Alright, but configurations... Let's see. Um, subtitles, yes. Just make sure they're on. Because I always want subtitles on. Uh, XP gain. Gain experience. It's on. Yep. Well, I guess you want this off just because for those... I guess wants to do, like, those level 1 challengers, you know? So I guess it's kind of nice they give the option if you want to do, like, a level 1 challenge. But, yeah. So I think that's all the settings. Oh... I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> now, I guess I'm going to go over a few things before we start. So, I do know that this game is not very long. Probably, like, maybe an hour or two, from what I'm guessing. So, with that being said, I'll probably make each video, say, about 30 to around 35, 40 minutes. Around that range. Maybe. I mean, we'll see. I might do longer, but... I'll try and do, like, not too long but not too short at the same time, you know? Just to make it nice and even for you guys. Just enough quality content for you, for each video. And, yeah, so... I think that's all I have to say so far, so... Are you guys ready to dive in with me as we play this game? Oh, boy. Whew, okay, breathe in and out. I'm sorry, I'm just getting over-hyped here. <laughs> 
Uh, I mean, this is something new, something I haven't played before, and I'm just... I don't know what to expect, you know? So I need to prepare myself for this crazy, amazing journey with Aqua. Uh, Alright, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I keep delaying, guys, and I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. I mean, you have to understand, like, this is something brand new for me. I'm just so excited, so... Alright, enough standing around talking. Let's just get right into this, shall we? Ooh. Okay, beginner mode. Pfft, that's for babies. Standard mode. Eh, that could be for a new person. But me? I'm more of a proud mode person. I want a bit of a challenge, you know? And I always play on proud mode, you know? I mean, not too hard. Not like critical mode, but... Although I'm surprised there is no critical mode. I guess that's the only Final Mix exclusive thing. But, yeah, so I guess we'll go with proud mode. I mean, we'll see how hard it is. It might be a challenge. Maybe not. But, yeah, let's go. Yes, proud mode. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, but you're getting a tutorial already? Okay. Controls. Um. Okay, I guess I'll go over them just to, you know, not confuse myself in case I'm like, what does this button do or that? Okay, so. Options. Open the menu, of course. Uh. Talk with shortcuts. Use the. Four symbols. Move cursor. Yep. I know left stick is character movement. Okay, the middle is change camera view. Right is camera, or rotate the camera. R3 to reset the camera. Okay, square is block, of course. X is confirm, or attack, right? And then circle is jump. And then triangle is situation command. Okay. And then R1 is target lock, R2 is switch targets. But yeah, same basic controls. Alright, I think I get the gist of the controls, so, yeah. Oh, the Keyblade Graveyard? What are we doing here for? There's Kingdom Hearts. <gasps> what? Oh, is that Luxo? <gasps> it's him! There's Master Zaynot's Keyblade. And that black box. What's he doing there? Oh boy. The great battle with Xehanort is almost upon us. As you know, we must take action to keep the seven pure lights safe. And thus we must hasten to assemble the seven guardians. Ah, so we right where we left off with that secret movie or ending at Bur uh, Dream Drop Distance. Return to our world, the three Keyblade wielders we lost over a decade ago. Ventus, Terra, and Aqua must be saved from their sad end, for they have more to achieve. Following their first battle with Xehanort, Ventus's heart refused to awaken, and so Aqua found a safe location to conceal him. But when she set off in search of her other missing friend, Terra, she fell to a place from which there is no return without outside help. I saw her in the realm of darkness. What? When? Why did you see her? Uh, should I let this intro play? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know what? It should be fine. I mean, I had played this before, like, in my reaction. I didn't get any copyright claims, so... I mean, it should be fine. At least I hope so. I actually 
you know what, just to be on the safe side, I'll probably just cut out the audio, just right here, just... Just in case I get any copyright claims, just because I don't want that. I'm sorry if you want to hear the music, just... I just want to take some extra precautions. But man, this intro slash trailer that I saw when I reacted to this was so amazing. <laughs> Oh man, look at those flashbacks. Oh man, like they look so good in these graphics and the Unreal Engine. And I think that even these guys will look even more amazing in Kingdom Hearts 3, you know? Because I'm pretty sure they even had even more of the graphics in that game. Oh man, that's not fair. Two against one. Ah, but look who's come to even the odds. Aw, oh, look at that. All three of them together again. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen at some point. Oh man, this could be so awesome. Alright, let's bring volume up. There we go. Ah, here it is. Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage. Aqua! Oh, could it be? Oh, we left. This is exactly where we left off, too. With Aqua seeing the Castle of Dreams. Whoa. Dark World? What? Whoa. This tutorial teaches basic controls. You have the tutorial? Well, I already saw the controls, but I guess it couldn't hurt. Just because, what if they introduce something new, you know? So, yeah, I'll view it. Okay. I know less stick is to make room. Okay, move the camera. Yes, yes, I know. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, look at this. Ho oh, ho ho ho. Oh, it looks so good! Wow. Oh. I mean, let's just look at Aqua first. Like, seriously, like, look at her. Like, she looks so good. Like, the graphics really make her, like, look realistic, you know? I like it. And the environments are cool. Like, look at this. It's like, it just looks so dreaded and evil because we're in the realm of darkness, you know? And the music too, like... Ah, oh, this is just so amazing! But yeah, I gotta give props to Square Enix. Like, this game so far looks pretty cool to me. I mean, graphics-wise. 
All right, let's see how she moves. Okay. We. <laughs> Anything back here? You never know. They could hide some goodies. Nope. Oh, there's our cartwheel. Ah, and there it is, Master Ericus's Keyblade. Or I guess you could say it's now it's Aqua's Keyblade. Okay, she has her barrier block. Of course. I mean, why else would she not have it? You know. Yep. Yep. Oh. Okay, it disappears on its own. Cool. Oh man, look at this. I just can't get enough of how amazing the game looks here so far. It just... It looks so good. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. Some walls may jump high, jump over, get you grab the ledge, da da da. Yes, I know. Alright, where, where are we going to see some Heartless here? I want to get some taste of combat here. Why is Cinderella's world here in the darkness? <gasps> oh, aha! Alright, it's go time! Okay, with the attack command, select and press X to attack with your keyblade. Get some more combos. Okay, square to block. Yes and no dodge. Okay, counterattack could be used immediately after blocking and the attack. Okay, yep. I got it. Alright, you shadows. Let's go. Oh. Cool. Come on. Yes, switch. Uh -huh. I know the controls. Alright, not bad. Gameplay seems pretty solid so far. Very action packed. I wonder if there are any other, I wonder if there are any other combos we can do, or is this the only one we can do so far? Oh, yeah, aerial combo. There's no time in the realm of darkness. I walk on and on without end. In the realm of light, do days or years pass with each step? I know something has started to go wrong. I must hurry. Wait, so is this Aqua speaking to herself? I think she's do Okay, so I guess we're getting some narr narr narration from Aqua. Eh, I don't know how I feel about narration in a video game. But you know what? If Aqua's gonna narrate, then fine. Because I don't mind. Because I love Aqua, and I love hearing her voice. So, if you want to narrate for me, Aqua, go right ahead. I have no problems whatsoever. What's going on? Oh! Whoa! Oh god. I guess I know which way I'm going. Sometimes a dead end isn't so dead. Try exploring every corner of the map. Oh, okay, so this is gonna be like a new thing, so where we can like, use the environment. So I guess if we do this... Oh hey, look at that! Just hoppity hop. Oh! Whee! Awesome. I propose to charge chest 
or fulfill other specific conditions and a situation command will appear. These commands for commands appear in various situations. Press triangle to perform the action. Okay. Oh, we got a potion. Use items in inventory from the items command. Select the item you would like to use and press X. No, I'm not gonna use a potion. I know. <laughs> it seems like a waste. I mean, we're full of health already, so there's no point. So the game mentioned explore the environment. Because I guess we might find some hidden goodies? Alright, I'll be sure to do that if I can. But yeah, if I do miss anything, like miss any tin treasure chest or something, I'm pretty sh sure you guys will let me know in the comments. I haven't felt my heart stir in a long time. Something about this place. Oh, more, huh? It looks like worse things are stirring. Man, these things never learn, do they? Okay, now we got more than last time. That's fine. They're no match for us. Come on. Do your worst. Oh, nice. Level 51. Wow, so we're like level 50 when we started? Okay. And we're done. Okay, so we've seen shadows so far. Like, are we gonna see more powerful Heartless as we progress on? I have a feeling we are. But you know what I also kind of noticed during the combat? Is that when you jump in the air and you attack? It seems like Aqua does like a cartwheel. Which I... Pretty sure she hasn't done that before in Birth by Sleep, if I remember correctly. So yeah, I guess Aqua did got some new combo moves. Oh, first option, the menu, select help, and for basic controls anytime. Oh, we got some story. We got some... Okay, what do we got for story? Oh, okay. Should I read this? Uh, I guess I'll read this one first, and then if we have time, I might read the other part. So, let's read this one. Story so far. Okay, the beginning. Disney Islands. A small set of islands and the home of a young man yearning for adventure. Years later, Master Zaynord, no longer a young man, returns home. Donned in a black coat, he carries at his side a young boy, Ventus wrapped in a white cloth. Ventus's eyes are devoid of life. He has lost a piece of his heart, the result of one of Xehanort's experiments. Xehanort places him on the ground and begins to walk away, when a miracle occurs. Ventus's heart manages to repair itself, and a keyblade appears in his hand. Through his surprise, Xehanort smiles as he latches or hatches a new plan. Embarking on a journey. At the land departure, a world protected by generations of Keyblade Masters, Terra Aqua Ventus train, or <laughs> not train, train, under Master Ericus in the hopes of becoming masters themselves. The night before Terra and Aqua are able are to take the mark of Master Exam, the three gaze up at the night sky each with Aqua's handmade Wayfinder in hand. Little do they know, this would be the last night they shared together. On the day of the exam, Xehanort is there to witness Terra and Aqua demonstrate their abilities. Though both are slated to receive the title of Master, Xehanort insists they both take the test. During their demonstration, Terra finds Aqua's strength overwhelming it subconsciously resorts to using the power of darkness. For this, Master Ericus grants only Aqua the title of Master. 
Xehanort approaches the devastated Terra and encourages him to embrace the darkness. Feeling relieved, Terra finds himself placing trust in him. A short while later, Master Ericus and his students receive word from Master Yin Sid, a powerful sorcerer who watches over the realm of light. Dark monsters called the Unversed have appeared in all corners of the world, and the Princesses of Light are in danger. Xehanort is also nowhere to be found. Master Ericus informs Aqua and Terra that they are to defeat these creatures and find Master Xehanort. Meanwhile, a mysterious boy in a mask appears before Ventus and hints at Terra's black, bleak future. Worried, Ventus leaves the land of departure to chase after his friend. As for Aqua, Master Ericus instructs her to retrieve Ventus and to keep an eye on Terra. Footsteps in the Dark On his journey across the worlds, Terra learns of Xehanort's interest in the pure hearts of light and the unversed connection to the masked boy. As Aqua watches from afar, she becomes worried about her friend and his affinity to the darkness. Meanwhile, Ventus continues to search for Terra when the masked boy appears, keyblade in hand. As the two battle, Ventus finds himself backed into a corner. Suddenly, a keyblade wielder calling himself Mickey appears. Together, they defeat the masked boy. Mickey explains that he is training after Yin Sid, and that he rushed off without permission when they realize the worlds are in trouble. In the same situation himself, Ventus quickly befriends his new ally. Seeking the counsel of one wiser than himself, Terra visits Yin Sid. There the young man explains the appearance of the Unversed and the disappearance of Xehanort, and is told to think of them as one problem. After the party from Yin Sid's tower, Terra hears Xehanort's voice call out to him. The two meet, and Xehanort confesses to his past crimes. It is his fault the masked boy, Venetus, exists. He is a creation of pure darkness that came from Ventus, and Xehanort requests Terra to right the wrong he has created. Terra accepts. Converging and diverging, Terra heads to the City of Light, Radiant Garden, to fulfill his promise to Xehanort. Unbeknownst to him, his closest friends are there too. Aqua sees a young girl being attacked by the Unversed and rushes to her side. Mickey arrives just in time to help. After they defeat the monsters, Mickey and Aqua speak briefly before he is whisked away by the Star Shard. Sensing a special light within the young girl, Aqua casts a magic spell on her to protect her from the darkness. Elsewhere in the city, Ventus is on the trail of a large Unversed when he crosses paths with Terra and Aqua. The three combine their powers and defeat the Unversed, but their happy reunion is short-lived. Terra discovers that Aqua has been sent by Master Ericus to follow him, and he storms off, feeling betrayed by his friends and mentor. Shortly after, a man named Bray confronts Terra, claiming he is taking Xehanort hostage. He challenges Terra for his Keyblade in a two battle until Terra emerges victorious. Having relied on the power of darkness to win, however, Terra is disappointed and convinces himself that he cannot return home. Freed from Briggs' imprisonment, Xehanort explains to Terra that he has had not been controlled by the darkness, but has successfully channeled it instead. He then convinces Terra to become his pupil. Terra accepts. Shortly after, he leaves to continue his search for Venetus. After a battle against the masked boy, Aqua decides to resolve everything herself without getting her friends further involved. Ventus, left behind by the others, meets a young boy named Lee, and the two become fast, fast friends. True ambitions revealed. While in the lanes between, Terra feels a warm light and follows it to Destiny Islands. There he meets Riku, and learns that the young boy wishes to become a strong or wishes to become strong to protect the things that matter to him. Terra, seeing himself in Riku, bequeaths the power of the Keyblade to him and promises him that they will meet again someday. Guided by that same light, Aqua also finds her way to Destiny Islands. She realizes that someone has passed Riku the power of the Keyblade and wonders if it was Terra. Aqua, sensing this extraordinary strength of his friend Sora's heart, instructs Sora to stick by Riku and keep him safe. While rescuing Mickey, Ventus runs to his former master, Xehanort. The reunion reawakens the boy's sleeping memories, and Xehanort urges his former pupil to clash with Venetus in order to forge the Keyblade. 
He also tells the boy to seek out Ericus to learn the truth. Ventus returns to Ericus in search of answers, but after hearing what his people has learned about the Keyblade, Ericus raises his Keyblade, determined to eliminate the boy, and thwarts Xehanort's plan of forging the blade. Terra arrives just in time and battles his master to protect his friend. Near the battle's end, Xehanort appears and strikes down the weakened Ericus. He then urges Terra to meet him at the Keyblade graveyard. There, Xehanort says he can witness Aqua and Ventus fall with his own eyes. Before his battle with Ericus, Terra tries to move Ventus to a safe place, Destiny Islands, but Vinitas is already there and tells the boy that they must clash to forge the Keyblade. Vinitas, however, refuses to fight. To spur him to action, Vinitas reveals his plan to deal with Aqua and Terra at the Keyblade graveyard. Aqua finds Mickey in the lanes between and returns him to Zin Sid. There she learns that Master Ericus has been struck down by Xehanort and Terra. She races to the Keyblade graveyard to confront her friend and discover the truth. Forging the Keyblade The three friends assemble at the Keyblade graveyard, a barren plain filled with countless lifeless keys left behind from the Keyblade War. Xehanort claims it to be the place where all Keyblade wielders leave their mark on fate. Is where the decisive battle would take place and in turn summon Kingdom Hearts. Terra tells Aqua and Ventus that he has come to settle the score of Xehanort, who had tricked him into defeating their master. Aqua insists that doing so was exactly what Xehanort wants. Ventus then confront, confesses that he may have to fight Vanitas, which will result in fortune of the Keyblade. He urges his friends to put an end to him if it comes to that. Xehanort and Vinitas arrive, and the battle begins. Terra, separated from his friends, stands alone as he faces Xehanort. Ventus attempts to protect his friend, but is frozen by his former master. Terra, consumed with rage, raises his keyblade. Aqua watches over Ventus, but Bray appears and the two clash. She defeats him, but is then attacked by Vinitas. Before he can deliver the final blow, Ventus summons the strength to unfreeze himself and fights Vinitas, thus forging the Keyblade. Seeing the blade forge, Xehanort unlocks his heart and tries to possess the body of Terra. Terra summons his armor to protect himself, but it crumbles to the ground, and his body becomes the new vessel for Xehanort, who becomes Terranort. But Terra's heart is not gone, his will lingers within his armor and clashes with Terranort. Aqua awakens to the sight of Mickey and the body of Ventus, fused with Vinitas. In Ventus's hand is the Keyblade, Mickey and Aqua are no match to the wielder of the legendary blade. However, by relying on the power of her friends, Aqua summons enough strength to shatter the weapon. Ventus begins fighting back from within Vinitas, and to prevent the total union of their souls. Ventus decides to destroy the Keyblade, even if it means his heart might vanish forever. Retrieving a Heart After the clash at the Keyblade Graveyard, Mickey finds Aqua and Ventus in the lanes between, and takes them to Yinsid's tower. Aqua awakens to learn that Vent Ventus's heart is asleep, and Terra's whereabouts are unknown. She then decides to seek out Terra, and find a safe place for Ventus to rest. Aqua returns to land departure with Ventus, and sees Master Ericus's Keyblade on the ground. She picks it up and remembers and remembering her mentor's words, uses it to lock the land away. It transforms it to Castle Oblivion, and Aqua hides the body of Ventus within one of its chambers. While departing, she hears the voice of Terra, who asked her to put an end to him. Aqua follows the voice to Radiant Garden, where she encounters Terra Xehanort. Quickly realizing that someone has taken over her friend's body, she fights the mysterious man to get her friend's heart back. During the battle, a light begins to shine from within the man's body. Realizing that Terra is fighting back, Terra Xehanort turns his Keyblade on itself. Without a heart, Terra Xehanort begins falling to darkness. Aqua grabs Terra, but soon realizes that they both won't make it out in time. Aqua entrusts Terra's body to her armor, places her Keyblade in his hand, and sends it back to the Realm of Light. She herself continues to descend into darkness promising to one day return to wake Ventus. Back in Radiant Garden, 
Anson the Wise followed his, his disciple, Break, to where the body of Terranor lies. Though the mysterious man has lost his memories, he recalls his name, Xanort. Hearing the familiar name, Break grins. Aqua wanders, wanders within the darkness, weary of her endless encounters with the dark creatures. Eventually, she finds herself surrounded by monsters and wonders if, it, if it's time to give up. Just then, two lights appear in the distance, and Terra advances his keyblade soar from the darkness and defeat the creatures. Filled with a new hope, Aqua smiles as she continues her trek through the darkness. Wandering through the darkness. As Aqua roams the dark world, she comes upon a familiar sight, the Castle Dreams. Oh my god, that was a lot of reading. Whew. Oh man, I'm sorry guys, that was a ton of reading. Oh, whew. <clears throat> uh, should I read this? Uh... Okay, yeah, this is not too long. Let's do it. Okay, prologue. The world is coming to an end. As Kingdom Hearts envelops everything in sight, a beautiful spectacle dissipates the bleak reality. A dark cloaked figure watches from afar, a large black box by his feet. His hands rest upon the hilt of a keyblade decorated with an emblem of a goat. In the center of the blade is a giant glistening eye that reflects countless keyblades abandoned by their wielders. So it, Lulux, is that his name? Shoot, but yeah, so he's around. Interesting. And then we have the opening. As the battle with Xehanort draws near, Yidsid reveals the existence of Keyblade wielders Ventus, Terra, and Aqua. Three of the seven Guardians of Light, however, all have disappeared from this world. The King has encountered one, Aqua, in the Realm of Darkness, and he shares their tale. Jeez, Mickey, you now you decide to remember about Aqua and decide to tell everyone about it? I mean, seriously, why'd you keep this a secret all this time? Why did you tell anybody about it? I mean, come on. Seriously. Uh, or maybe, I'm probably guessing, maybe Mickey met Aqua and Aqua said to Mickey, no, don't tell him about me yet. Just do it when the time is right. That's my guess. Oh, all right, that's enough reading for today, don't you? Let's just get right straight. There, there. let's get there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm starting to that. There. See, I already I did it again. Damn it. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know why I am stuttering today. Jesus. I do that sometimes. I just keep stuttering for some reason. Oh, trophy earned. Wandering in the dark. I took it for granted. I thought I had nothing in life to lose. Aww. Aqua, you've been through so much. I mean, you had such a good time. Like, you meet all these friendly people, and like... <sighs> I mean, look where we are now. Like, you don't deserve to be in this place, Aqua. You deserve to be happy, and with your friends. Oh man, like, look at Aqua from, like, back then at Birth by Sleep. Look at the graphics, and like back then, but look at her now, like, you can see a huge difference. Here too, everyone in this world thought that they were safe. Not just the people, but the dog waiting for his owner. The cat curled up in her nook. So much life. Trees and flowers. There's no deeper sadness than discovering all that you knew is gone. 
the grief in this place is too much to fathom. That's enough. I can't keep on wishing for the past. Oh, objectives. Okay, so this is something new. Fulfill specific conditions to complete objectives and you'll be rewarded with clothing and accessories for Aqua's wardrobe. Oh yeah, I heard about you can customize Aqua. Okay. View conditions and rewards for various objectives from objectives in the main menu. Okay. Equip Aqua with these items from wardrobe in the main menu. Dress up Aqua in your own unique style. <laughs> okay. I mean, it looks, sounds cool making Aqua like what you want her to be look like, but I think, I mean, personally, I'm just gonna keep her as she is, just because I see no need for her to change her outfit. I think she's fine as she is, you know? There's no need to change her. Oh, okay, can't go that way. Oh. There, see, you see, that I was talking about. Like, she does like a flip thing now. Yeah. With the aerial combo. Okay, here's what I'm wondering. How can there be electricity if, like, there's, like, we're in the realm of darkness? How can there be electricity? Like, what's powering the lamps? Unless it's a flame. And I guess that makes sense. Wait, is there really electricity? I don't think it is. Okay, can we check the objectives? Oh, do we have anything in the wardrobe? Oh. Okay, nope, I'm not gonna change that. Okay, what do we got for objectives? Okay, defeat 30 shadows, test of strength. Whoa, level 60. Okay. Defeat five heartless using counter blast. <gasps> Ooh, flawless. Ooh, cool. Wow. Okay, how many is there? Street lamp striker. Hit 20 street lamps. Top of the town, climb to the highest point. Watch for a meteor shower. Okay. Oh, 51 objectives, huh? Wow, that's quite a lot. So I guess this means we're going to be exploring all sorts of places. Alright, are these street lamps are supposed to hit? supposed to hit 20 of these, right? Oh, I just want to check real quick. Am I doing it right? Oh, what? Three? I'm pretty sure I hit more than three. Right? Oh, maybe I didn't. Hold on. Oh, okay. We're supposed to hit more. Okay. Alright, what is this thing now? Aha, seven. Okay, so that's what it's supposed to do. Got it. Although, how Hindi Street Lance is an objective, I don't know. Like, how does that... Like, yeah. why would you do that? I don't get that. But, eh, whatever. Again. Oh, 
Oh no. Jump. Oh. Phew. The rope collapsed when the clock advanced. If only I made it in time. But there is no time in this place, only the clock. The clock is the key. I guess we did find four more of those. I knew it. <laughs> okay, ma oh, now we can use magic. Nice. Okay, select magic followed by the spell you wish to cast. Cast these spells to deplete your MP gauge. You cannot cast spells without MP. Okay, MP charge. This action release charge MP. Okay, so it's kind of similar to Kingdom Hearts 2's MP you know, mechanic, where if you run of MP, it restores over time. Okay. I see. Magic items can be used from the command menu. They can also be assigned shortcuts for easier access. Okay, shortcuts, customize. Once set, hold down I want, open the shortcut menu, and access restrict spells and items easily in the field or during battle. I won't get too far without those gears. All right. So, like I said, we need to find four more gears. Alright, where would they be? Oh, hello. Oh, we got a map. Cool. Now, is there a save point nearby? Ah, uh, no save point. Oh! Hello. Oh, let's try some of our magical spells. Not bad. Oh, that's pretty cool. somewhere I can save the game just because I don't want to record for too long here. Oh, what? Oh, save point? Aha, yes! Oh, finally, there we go. Whew. All right, our very first save point. Oh, Whew, all right. <clears throat> I think this is going to be it for this part right here, guys. So, yeah, I think overall, it, this game is pretty awesome. It's fun. We get to play as Aqua. Like, seriously, like, I love playing as Aqua, so it's nice to play as her again. But, yeah, so overall, my opinion so far, the game looks amazing. Like, graphics wise, the environments look cool, combat's pretty fun, too. I mean, so far, so good, Square Enix. But we'll have to see what the rest of the game has to offer and see if my opinion will change. But, yeah, so... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to like a like and comment as well. And next time, we shall find the missing gear pieces and then we can continue on and we'll see what happens next. So, with that being said... This has been Hesitated Cobra here, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.